I'm so delighted to see what you are doing to help colorists uh, to grow and especially through this hell of a year and a half we've had, you know, to keep trying to communicate and, and create content and meaningful friendship with so many people who are either working in a salon that can't go to work, working at half, half open, half closed, not being able to work, and also being, being really able to, um, I think, try to grow and try, by the way, try to survive, so thank you. Uh, I know what I've been doing on my Facebook conversation page and my new website for colorists, which is BethMinardiAllAccess.com. And you know what I tried to do, Elaine? I wanted to make it very, very accessible. Um, we have people contacting us from Russia, India, Dubai, the United Kingdom, and of course all over the United States. The need for really solid education that comes from people like you and me people who really do this for a living. Uh, we don't work for a store. We don't work um, as, a, as a cute little person who just stands up there and is a talking head. Um, there's a lot of education going on right now, as you know. Some of it's good, and a lot of it is actually detrimental. So because you and I have a salon background and degrees in the, the, the science of color, the technology of color, um, the, the effects of color and what ingredients do and don't do, um, I wanted to make this accessible. So it's $25 a year and a lot of the tutorials I do, like yours, are free and some of them my, my members will get uh, at a giant discount or for free. So that's what I'm doing and I'm continuing to test color all the time in the salon. New brands, new shades, new categories. So, you know, I think as people come out of this sad situation, clients are returning to salons. They want to look better, and a lot of them want to change. So what we have to do is be sure we're able to create those changes or, and this is the other end, be able to tell a person, we can do this, but it's not going to be complete today. Because it doesn't matter if the hair is the color you want. When it's no longer attached to your head, it's broken off, it doesn't matter what shade it is. So knowing how to speak to people, how to make them happy, how to understand what's possible, what's scary, and what's not possible today, attached to the time and the effort it's going to take on the part of both the client and the salon colorist are all super important, perhaps now more than they've been in a very long period of time. Are you kind of feeling the same way? One of the biggest things that you've taught me that has helped me sustain my business through COVID, through all of this, is going that extra mile and creating subtle dimension. People think it's either, you know, Kelly Clarkson highlights or nothing. You taught me so many ways to put that extra twist on a subtle dimension where clients were forced to grab that box color during COVID. They had no choice. We couldn't right. get our hands on them. You know, they had no choice. And shame on us if we were the stylist that leans on that 6N safe formula and just have all of our clients have a basic 6N, they would then soon see that, wow, that box isn't so bad and I saved a lot of money and I can keep doing this. Where, where my clients and your clients are like, hell no, 